Good morning, Sarah. It's such a lovely day for a morning walk, isn't it? Good morning, Emma. Absolutely, the fresh air and sunshine are so invigorating. How have you been? I've been doing pretty well. College has been keeping me busy with assignments and projects, but I can't complain. How about you? How's everything going at your end? I can totally relate. College life has its share of hustle. I've been caught up in my studies too, but you know, it's all part of the journey. Besides studies and gardening, what else do you like to do in your free time? Well, in my free time, I've been really into trying out new recipes. Cooking has become kind of a therapeutic hobby for me. I've been experimenting with different cuisines and even started baking my own bread from scratch. It's been so much fun. That sounds amazing. I've always admired your culinary skills. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two sometime. As for me, I've been getting back into reading. I used to be such a bookworm, but life got so busy. Lately, I've been diving into fantasy novels again, and it's like reuniting with old friends. Oh, I'd love to share some recipes with you. And that's awesome about the books. Any recommendations? I'm always on the lookout for a good read. Absolutely. I'll take you up on that recipe offer. As for books, I just finished this epic fantasy series that I can't stop raving about. The world building is incredible, and the characters are so well developed. I think you'd love it if you're into fantasy. Oh, definitely tell me the name of that series. I'm totally down for some immersive fantasy. By the way, besides cooking, I've also been trying my hand at painting. I'm no artist, but it's really therapeutic to put some colors on canvas and just let my imagination flow. That's so cool! I've seen some of your artwork on social media, and I think you're way too modest. Painting sounds like a fantastic way to unwind. Maybe one day we can have a little painting and cooking session together. That would be a blast. We could create our own little art gallery and cook up a storm in the kitchen. Oh, and I've been getting back into yoga too. It's been helping me relax and stay centered amidst all the chaos. Yoga sounds like a great way to find balance. I should probably start incorporating more exercise into my routine too. All this reading and eating might catch up with me eventually. Well, it's all about finding that equilibrium, right? Balancing the cozy indoors with a bit of movement. But hey, indulging in good food and great books is what makes life enjoyable. You're absolutely right. It's all about enjoying the little things and doing what makes us happy. Thanks for sharing what you've been up to, Emma. It's always inspiring to see how you make the most of your free time. Thank you, Sarah. And same to you. It's refreshing to catch up and learn about each other's hobbies. It's what keeps our friendship so special. Totally agree, Emma. All right, let's plan that painting and cooking day soon, okay? Absolutely, let's do it. Can't wait for our creative and delicious hangout. Hey, Emma, how's your week going? Have you found any new activities to do in your free time lately? Hi, Sarah. 
My week's been pretty good so far. As for new activities, I've actually started learning to play the guitar. I've always admired people who can play musical instruments, so I thought it was about time I gave it a shot. It's been both challenging and exciting. Wow, that's awesome. I had no idea you were interested in playing the guitar. How's it been going? Are your fingers getting used to the strings yet? Yeah, it's definitely been a bit painful at first. My fingers are still getting used to pressing down on the strings, but I can already play a couple of simple chords. I've been following online tutorials and practicing a little every day. That's really impressive. Maybe someday you'll be serenading us with your guitar skills. Speaking of music, I've been getting back into my vinyl collection. There's something so nostalgic and soothing about the crackling sound of a record player. It's like a journey back in time. Oh, I love that. Vintage vibes and good music, what a great combination. Do you have a favorite record that you've been playing on repeat? Definitely. I've been listening to a lot of classic rock and jazz records. There's this one jazz album that just transports me to a smoky, dimly lit jazz club every time I play it. It's such a mood setter. That sounds incredible. I can totally picture it. And speaking of setting the mood, I've been getting into gardening lately. I started with a few small plants, and now I've got a little balcony garden going on. It's surprisingly therapeutic to take care of plants and watch them grow. That's such a lovely hobby. I've seen some pictures of your plants on social media, and they look so healthy and vibrant. I've always thought about having some plants too, but I'm afraid I might not have the greenest thumb. Trust me, I was the same way at first. But with a little research and patience, you'll be surprised at how well you can nurture plants. It's all about finding the right ones for your space and lifestyle. You're right. Maybe I'll give it a shot. By the way, I recently joined a local hiking club. I've always enjoyed nature, but this gives me the opportunity to explore new trails and connect with like-minded people. That sounds like a fantastic way to stay active and discover some beautiful places. Plus, hiking can be such a refreshing escape from the city hustle. Do you have a favorite trail you've hiked so far? Definitely. There's this trail that leads to a stunning waterfall. The sound of the rushing water and the lush surroundings make it feel like a hidden paradise. It's my go-to spot whenever I need a breather. That sounds absolutely magical. I'll have to join you on one of these hikes sometime. It's so great to hear about all the different activities you've been exploring in your free time. Hey Emma, before we wrap up, I've got one more question for you. Besides studies and gardening, what else do you like to do in your free time? Great question, Sarah. Well, I'm a bit of a movie buff, to be honest. I love watching films, especially old classics and indie movies. It's like a little escape from reality for a couple of hours. That's really cool. Exploring different genres and eras of cinema must be quite an adventure. Do you have a favorite classic movie that you could watch over and over again? Oh, definitely. Casablanca is a timeless favorite of mine. 
the romance, the drama, and the iconic lines, it just never gets old. How about you, Sarah? Any favorite movies or shows you enjoy watching? I'm a bit of a nature documentary enthusiast, actually. It's fascinating to learn about different ecosystems and wildlife. And when I want something light, I enjoy sitcoms that can make me laugh after a long day. Nature documentaries are so educational. It's amazing how much we can learn about the world through them. And sitcoms are great for unwinding. Laughter is like an instant stress reliever. Exactly. All right, Emma, it's been wonderful chatting with you during our walk. I'm really looking forward to our painting and gardening session. Let's make it happen soon. Absolutely, Sarah. Thanks for the fun conversation. Let's definitely plan that creative hangout and maybe even a movie night too. Have a productive day, and we'll catch up soon. You too, Emma. Take care and talk to you soon.